What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna check out some of the new features contained inside the newest version of Flex Tools. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so first off, note that Flex Tools is currently on sale as a part of their Black Friday Cyber Monday sale. So this offer is gonna last for a little while, but I will link to it in the notes down below. But in addition to that, they've also rolled out a new release with a bunch of new features. And I'll link to the blog post where they talk about all of this in the notes below as well. All right, so first off, we've got the new Flip Tools functionality. And so you might've noticed these three extra arrows that are now in the Flex Tools menu. These give you the ability to quickly flip your components inside of your model. So you can do a left to right, a front to back, or an up and down. So if you do usually work with Flex Tools Active, this is a fast, easy way to flip things instead of having to go find the flip along function. Um, it's especially helpful if you're working with the Flex Tools components because it can allow you with a single click to switch the direction that the door swings like this. So we've also got the new L shape stair tool. This tool is gonna allow you to quickly set up L shape stairs that go over a certain height. So notice how this adjusts automatically in here, but you can also go into your dynamic component settings and set different things about this. And so there's several different ways that you can calculate the way these stairs are in here. So for example, you can set this by overall tread length. So if we wanted our tread length to be like six inches, which probably wouldn't meet code, but um, notice how you can use it to adjust that and then also adjust the max riser height. So if we were to adjust our max riser height to like three inches, which again, probably not what you want, but um, just as an example, notice how this stair is going to calculate based on that. And so you can also adjust at what point your landing shows up. So like, for example, if we wanted this landing to show up at step number six, we would just type in a value of six and click on apply right here. So if you want to create L-shaped stairs, this is a valuable way to be able to do that. Note that their next step is they're planning on changing the options for the original straight stair um, in order to be able to calculate things this way as well, which I think is a very, uh, I think this is a very intuitive way to calculate your stairs. So one of the powerful things about flex tools is the ability that you have in order to cut openings and walls by dropping these objects in, right? That's uh, probably one of the biggest selling points of this tool. Well, you used to get this error message that said warning if you tried to place a wall cutter component inside of something that wasn't a component, right? It didn't work right if your walls are just groups, but they've now fixed that so that you can place those components into walls that are groups as well as walls that are components. So your wall cutter functionality is gonna be even better. So another function they've added is previously when you use the fence component, what would happen is you would basically set a distance and a remainder for how the posts were spaced. Well, what they've done now is they've given us the ability to set an equal max distance. So what you can do is you can set whatever you want the maximum distance to be, and it'll come in here and it'll calculate something that's less than that maximum distance and have your posts actually be equally spaced. So this can be really valuable for creating um, fences that actually have equally spaced posts, which might be more like the way that you might build something in the real world. So for the fixed window component, you can now set the number of window units between each window. So like for example, if you wanted to create a window that has like mullions or something like that, you can use this in order to quickly set up your window so that it gives you so that it automatically gives you the number of mullions that you want. You can also set like the width of the mullions, other things like that. So this is now a lot more powerful for commercial style windows in SketchUp. So in addition, there's also been a couple changes to the nomenclature inside the door and glass door, just to make things kind of match up a little bit more with what you would expect. So all of these features come in addition to the tools that we already had inside of Flex Tools. So the glass doors and the windows um, that are actually operable, other things like that. Again, note how these flip tools really make changing and adjusting things a lot easier when you're using flex tools. And so these components really can be time savers in your workflow. I will link to flex tools on this page. Remember that it is currently on sale as part of their Black Friday sale, but leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about these additions. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.